Next on the list, we have this information courtesy of Sakai featuring the Nike and Sakai LD Waffle collaborations. I've had enough of this shoe. I'm not sure about yourself. I've had enough. I've got a couple of pairs I still haven't worn. Um, I've had enough of the silhouette. It doesn't even. Do you remember when this first dropped and it was really striking to see the double sole unit, to see how exaggerated everything looked, to see the double swoosh, the, the tongue, how the mud guards were, how they fit on your shoe? It was. It really made you turn your head, right? If you saw someone walking down the street with a pair of Sakai LD waffles or even the undercover racer shoes, whatever, with a little shark tooth thing at the back of the hill, it made you kind of do a little double take. And it was effectively, I think, one of the only shoes in recent years I've seen day to day. I've seen regular people wear like people always say oh yeah I see loads of dunks on the street no you don't you see dunks if you go to like trendy parts of East London but for the most part day to day still the one sneaker that reigns supreme is the easy of course and it? it's the one shoe they see people from walks of life wearing a version of the sort of of the 350s right but the LD waffle has definitely been one of the shoes I've seen a lot of people outside of I would say the streetwear fashion bubble wearing day to day and it's quite cool to see because you can definitely see that they've worn them a lot they're their beaters that they wear day to day to work and they hold up and they in my opinion look a lot better if you do wear them day to day um as opposed to treating them like you know sneakers that you can't crease in the toe box but it needs to be also said that i'm tired of the silhouette i'm tired of the shape i'm tired of seeing it in front of my face it feels like the fragment and L, the fragment collaboration specifically the first two in the top it feels like we've seen them on sneaker pages um leak pages for the best part of a year and they're finally starting to drop now um according to this caption it says that the shoe was only introduced in 2019 right and we're only in 2021 now and i'm really tired of the shoe so it feels as if like it's been longer than that it feels like it's been five years ten years whereas it's only been a couple of years a few years sorry that this shoe's kind of been in rotation and already i'm already getting fatigued over it but it is nice to maybe see this might be the final hurrah this overall collaboration so you've got two collaborations with fragment of course the colors ways the shoes that we've seen disappointed on a navy pair because they've decided to um they decided to color is it they said to, what is it colorize whatever that word is called they decided to color the the midsole blue i think on the original mock-up it did look white as the same obviously as the midsole here but you know they tried to make that blue i guess to tie in with the feature on the other grayish colorway shoe so from that notion i'll definitely switch preference between the, the navy to the gray um that goes without saying and then of course you've got two colors of the clot um they've just uh, effectively copied the standard i forgot what that year of there's something is it year of the dragon whatever that was that air max one they've kind of color, copied the colorway on that and placed that on top of their um ld waffle the gray colorway here is okay not really my favorite has to be said the sole here looks a bit different are they stars or is that kind of a speckled summer is a speckled sole so it looks a little bit interesting the undercover colorway is pretty decent um this bolt sort of yellowy bumblebee colorway is really nice this sort of like gucci-esque colorway is decent and then you've got another undercover one here at the bottom which might be the best overall i'd say of these three if you're gonna at a stretch if you're gonna say what your favorite side would be i definitely go with the right hand side uh with the navy fragment the kind of you know grayish navyish clot the undercover gucci's type colorway that would definitely be my favorite hands down going forward in those kind of colors but again i'm just tired of the shoe let's read the caption it says this fall nike and sakai will launch free ld collaborations remixing nike and sakai's already iconic 219 silhouette with nike and sakai partners fragment clot and undercover i guess this is sort of like an asian tie-in as well right um, with the exception of clot all these companies are japanese um so it might be a tie-in it also maybe is a tie-in in terms of their sort of like um little sneaker crew kind of click thing that they have right in terms of collabs these are all people who are all kind of sitting in front row of their shows they're always at the flipping press events in paris and stuff you know um exchanging war stories over flutes of flipping express uh what's the thing called espresso <laughs> fruits of espresso no. fruits of flipping champagne and shit you know whatever that other word is right so that's it feels like a little bit of a tiny it feels like a a little bit of a um, of a inside job in that regard less of yeah that's what it feels like it feels less so and a kind of um shoes for the consumer and more so shoes for the heads which is neither here or there but you know that's what it feels like this is the first drop arrives on august 24th and includes two colorways um designed in a folded flooded navy 
and flooded grey colourway is characteristic to the fragment aesthetic. Two colorways are Sakai Clot LD143 colorways are the Nike undercover. So it's interesting, you know, right? Fragment gets a little blurb, but then Clot and undercover just get this is what they are. Interesting. Um, so yeah, we've got a list of when they're due to come out, and obviously with that malarkey. So I guess keep an eye out if you care. I think for me, I'm over them, I'm done. If I don't see another one again, I'll be happy. But you know, Nike and the fact that it's such an easy shoe to get right because of the paneling and how sort of like, you know, modern and classic they both look. I'm sure they're still going to try and push out more pairs. But for me personally, I'm over it. But hey, maybe I'm in the wrong here. Maybe I'm in the wrong. <laughs>